Okay, so you've decided that you wanna be a front-end web developer. You've decided that JavaScript does it for you way more than SQL or databases or whatever backend people do, I don't know. So that's great, but I get a lot of comments and concerned questions about one thing when it comes to front-end web development, and that is, do I need to be a designer to do front-end? And I think the question's a little bit flawed because most of the time when people ask that, what they're really trying to ask is, do I need to be an artist to be a front-end developer. And if art skills are any determination as to whether you can become a front-end developer or not, then believe me, I wouldn't be here with a front-end development job right now. No, like seriously, I wouldn't. I Actually, here, let me prove it to you. I'm going to do a self-portrait. Add the beard. Let's see, mustache, more beard. Oh yeah, more beard. That's right. I forgot I'm growing it out for Bonnaroo. Um, ears, face, baseball hat. Um, colored that in. Yeah, and I uh, had a neck, some arms, uh, hands. Oh God. Yeah, that's going to have to do. Pants, feet. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a state shirt. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So those are my art skills. Garbage. So if what you're meaning is, do you need to be an artist? Is, do you need to be an artist? Do you need to be able to draw? Do you need to be able to paint? Do you need to be able to come up with like those kind of things on your own? Then the answer is absolutely not. And if you're asking, do you need to be a designer? Like, do you need to be able to lay out websites or web apps? And do you need to know color theory? And all of those things, the quick and simple answer is also no. Most places, most teams, most development teams, they're going to have a designer or multiple designers as part of those groups. Most companies are going to have designers on staff and most front-end web development like workflow starts at the end of the design phase. A design is made and then you create it. So you don't even need to think about the design or think about the colors or think about the icons you're going to put in. Those things are going to be made for you. Now I'm saying this with one big caveat and that big caveat is are design skills going to hurt you? And that answer is definitely no. Having a sense of color, having a sense of typography, having a sense of what is popular in web design right now is definitely a skill that you can talk to when you're trying to get your first front end job, but it absolutely is not required for 90% of job postings. Being able to work with applications like Sketch or Adobe XD or Photoshop or whatever layout applications there are that are popular right now is definitely a plus. And never a negative when it comes to this sort of job. And one smaller caveat is if you work with a really, really, really small team or you're like the sole developer on a project, you may want to have some design skills or you're going to end up making a GeoCities page from 1999. Those instances are very, very, very rare and that may not be the right opportunity for you if you're not a designer or you don't have a designer's eye. And that leaves us with one small-ish problem and that is if you're working to become a developer and you're trying to build things, say, for your portfolio or even your portfolio itself, what about the design element of that? Luckily for us living in 2018, oh, my air conditioning just kicked on the audio might get bad. I think I put a noise gate up to kind of alleviate this problem where I can try to fix it in post. Anyways, we are lucky that we live in 2018 and we are working on front end development projects in this year where there are a bunch of free resources for you to help you out on the path of having a website that looks modern and is designed properly. Not the least of which is a place called Dribble. I'll link it down below, but it is an awesome website where people post their design inspo on there and you can go and take it and use it and run with it. So if you go to Dribbble and you search for personal website, a bunch of awesomely designed personal websites are going to show up. Or if you type in e-commerce store or anything else, there are designs for literally just about everything on there. Past that, if you want to have slick icons to put on your website and you don't know the first thing about vector images or SVGs, you can always use free icon packs like Font Awesome or Material Design. There's also a plethora of information when it comes to design trends on the internet through the blogosphere and a bunch of random articles that people post all the time. And so if you need to know, are gradients in in 2K18, or is it flat design, or do I need to add box shadows? Those are things that are easily searchable and easily findable just with Google. You can also use free libraries like Bootstrap to have buttons and headers and things like that that all kind of match what the current style is. Bootstrap is super popular and you can customize it to fit your needs. And if you really, really have no design skills and you don't want to learn, using Bootstrap will at least mean that your website is going to look modern when it 
comes to buttons and navigation menus and things like that. Also, if my light's moving, it's because my cat's used it as a scratching post. So you have all these resources at your disposal if you absolutely have no design skills, and you can really actually build something that looks pretty good. It's not going to be the most unique. It's not going to be 100% original, and that's fine. You're building out a portfolio of work to show off that you can be a developer, not a designer. But having a good skill set and a good eye for design when it comes to building those and making them look modern is a very, very, very important thing to keep in mind when you're building out these apps or these websites for your portfolio. Also, today is May the 15th when I'm filming this, and it should go up on that day. May the 16th, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I'm gonna be doing my weekly live stream. As always, you guys are more than welcome to join, hang out, ask questions. We can talk about this video or any video or anything. If you wanna talk about the NBA playoffs, I would love to do that as well. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you wanna follow along in my developer journey, hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell so you'll be notified about live streams and new videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye. I don't know why I held this pin through the last half of this video, but I guess it's like a nervous tick thing.